Now for a more serious topic. This book, Strong and Courageous. The book is a collection of personal notes from emails and social media like Facebook used to create a new kind of journal that follows the destiny and the journey of hope through one of today's biggest battles, and that is breast cancer. And we have Drenda Howitt here with us, and she's um, a support staff for Clackamas County Commissioners and was diagnosed with cancer, made it through. Yes, I How's did. your health? Great, cancer-free. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. All right. Now, your book to me um, is, is a really interesting journey because it allows us to go on this journey page by page with you, starting with yes. your very first post after you found out that you'd been diagnosed, which was strong and courageous. Correct. So um, how did your cancer experience become a book? I started using Facebook um, updates as a way to keep my two oldest daughters in the loop because they were away at college. And then uh, my writing turned into more commentaries. And as people read it, I heard lots of comments about how it could help other people. And um, just when I finished cancer treatment and was declared cancer free, I thought, wow, you know, if this can help somebody, then I would publish it and pursue that. Well, I've had a life-threatening illness, not breast cancer, but a, bl a blood cancer. And I know, uh, it's very difficult to even identify what feelings you're, ha you're having. And when I think when people might read through this, they might be able to explain and identify the feelings they're having because not only have you, you've got the ability to see wh how it ended up, so you've right. got hindsight, but you have the immediacy too. That's correct. This uh, book is one of hope, but in that hope there was terror and fear and sadness but it ended well. Yeah, there you are going through chemotherapy. Yes. Boy, we remember that well, don't we? Yes. Are you surprised though at how soon you forget what you went through? Yes. Because the mind just keeps on looking forward. Yes, and, and just reading through the book for myself, I am you know, reminded of the intensity um, that I have forgotten and it hasn't been that long. Right, you, you're married um, and you have two children who, as you said, are, are yeah. they, they're still in, camp, in uh, college? I have three daughters, oh, excuse mm -hmm. me. two are in uh, college and I have a high school freshman also. And you know, having to tell somebody that you are sick and you don't know what the outcome is gonna be is so yeah. terrifying. I can still remember the look in people's eyes. Yes. You know, I have nightmares about that. Um, many people seem to stay away from us when we're sick, and in one chapter you talk about the presence is priceless. What advice would you give to anybody out there who knows somebody, or we all will know somebody right. who's going to be going through a major illness? What would you advise them to do? I guess they're afraid they're gonna make it worse for us. The one thing not to do is to say, call me if I can help, because we won't call. But you can say, can I come and bring dinner on Tuesday? Give the people who are hurting yes or no questions that they can answer. Um, can I come take your daughter to a movie? Can I come clean your home? Um, because we're not gonna call with requests, but if you give us a suggestion, then we can answer yes or no. And just reaching out with cards and letters, I remember you know, going through some yes. of those even a year later, and I was so touched. Yes, that was, um, a wonderful support for me and the Facebook comments that people would leave on my Facebook page I drew immense comfort from. Uh, I couldn't always call people because I was crying so much oh, but to go back to the Facebook and think I'm not alone these people are out there and they're caring for me and they are there for me. And your book Strong and Courageous is a nice legacy you know if I have a friend who is going through this I would certainly get them her your book thank you congratulations thank you not only on the book but your uh, good health thank you all right Jake what's coming up still to come on studio six you're ready for the red carpet who are you wearing by the way get dressed up and help others dress for success but first the stomachs are rumbling in studio six East India's in the kitchen making their curried chicken dish coming up next the studio six stage was built by Cranston construction